All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, look at what we have. Guys, we have actual White Walkers from Game of Thrones. Here's the Night King. He's white. He's got a crown. He's got a sword. Unfortunately, it's not like the glass, like the ice kind of glass weapons that they have. But we've got spear throwers, swordsmen, and then we've got plain old whites, which <laughs> they're aptly named because... They look white, and I think that's hilarious. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be showing off the Night King, and he's gonna be fighting all of the main kind of fighting styles and armies from both Westeros and Essos from Game of Thrones. I'm in a big Game of Thrones mood. We have this mod where we finally get a Night King, we get some whites and white walkers themselves, and so whites are like the zombies. Oh my gosh, the Night King. Just got slain. Oh wait, that's not the Night King. Where's the Night King? All right, so the first army that the Night King is going to have to fight with his whites, his white walkers, and his white walker spear throwers. I can't wait till we can add custom 3D models. Is basically the traditional Westerosi army. Now Westerosi armies are, you know, you've got your knights, you've got your warriors, and then you've got a couple archers. And look at this, man. The spears being thrown. So we fix the whole uh, like range stuff from when we showed the ultimate adventure Captain America in Mjolnir, which was awesome. Um, but for some reason, ranged fire was broken. So here we go. It's gonna be kind of like a standard operation. Oh my gosh. The Night King may not be as invincible as he seemed. Well, I guess he really wasn't. He was invincible to fire, but not invincible. Oh my god, look at him leaving. I can't wait till we can like do next level mods in Game of Thrones. Fire your archers, sir! Oh god, they're being overrun. Okay, so, ooh. That is awesome. Look at this death. Oh my gosh. And these guys are like, good form, old chap, good form. Oh wait, we're not supposed to talk. So the next army that the Night King's gonna have to fight is like the Unsullied or the Giscari region, which are basically, uh, like, spear and sh- What are you doing? I guess- the idea here is to not get hit in the head. Maybe he thinks his bronze armor on his chest is gonna guard him. Anyway, so the Unsullied are like Daenerys' is like best soldiers in my opinion. I still think that they're better than, you know, the, uh, the Dothraki Screamers, the Dothraki, like, cavalry. I still think, like, if you think about it, the Unsullied, they, they got the snip snip down below. And so, like, they're like, oh, I'm not ambitious. I, my, my only purpose is to serve, oh my god, the leaping attack of the Night King's awesome. So, we're gonna have them fight the, and the, and the Unsullied are based off of, like, the Giscari Legion, which is, like, the old empire that the Valyrians, aka the Dragon Lords, Dragon Lord, Dragonborn, Dragon Lord, they defeated, right? Oh, this is not looking very good. Okay, we're gonna have to up them. <laughs> hey guys, look, it's the Battle of Winterfell. We got the Night King and a bunch of whites. Oh, let's put our catapults and trebuchets in the front. So let's see how this works out. And then the Unsullied behind them, and that would be where the trenches is. Actually, I wonder how the catapults are gonna do. Uh, let's see, how many are taken out? Look at that, they got one shot off and they were taken out. That is a totally accurate Battle of Winterfell right there. Just like, absolutely ridiculous use of catapults. I, I wonder if you could ever make a trebuchet in tabs. I think you could. And now all these guys are like trapped and stuck off of like the broken catapults, the White Walkers, the Night King himself is still up. The Whites? I feel like this is zombie zombie mod by the way. It's amazing, link's gonna be in the video description. And look at this, man. It's some of the best stuff because you actually have the Night King and his army, the regular zombies and the Demon King, and then you have uh, the survivors, actually. So if you want to see a video of survivors versus zombies, we can make that happen. <laughs> ah, all right, now we're going to do the Battle of Winterfell. We got the Night King. He's not, this is supposed to be Night King on horse, and since there's no horses, they use the mammoth. Brilliant. There's the army of whites. We've got the catapults in the front, the unsullied behind them. I feel like it's just very, very appropriate. It. We're gonna see how this works out for them. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious to see if the catapults get a second shot off because that was the whole criticism. It's like, whoever designed the strategic defense of Winterfell, 
in Game of Thrones is like, what are, what is you doing, sir? Because that, that don't make no sense. Now, unfortunately, the Night King can't do a Raise the Dead ability, which would be amazing. And we put so many enemies in here, we're going to have to run this one in slow motion. But, slow motion for me. But what we got here is, we're going to have other of the fighting styles coming up. The Bravosi water dancing. The Mountain Clans of the North and the Eerie. The Northmen with their axes. The Ironborn. And then the Golden Company from Essos with their war elephants and their pike formations. But here, the Unsullied, they outnumber the Whites here three to one, which is kind of interesting. But you gotta remember that you've got the White Walkers just chilling in the back like, oh, uh, you know, we're not really gonna be a part of this. We're supposed to guard the Night King, but, you know, hey, we might not. He might just die. You know? Alright, how's the battle going? The Night King's going crazy. So once his mount- Oh look, he fell off his mount! That's awesome. See, that's what I love about the mounting system in this game, is it's just incredible. Because you can fall off your mount, or your mount can die, and then you can continue fighting. Look at this, so the Night King's fighting one of the Unsullied- Maybe? Maybe it's Grey Worm himself? I don't know. <laughs> look at that big, big old booty. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mammoth. Alright, boys. I love how the White Walkers are white. It's just, it's just really funny. Uh, excuse me, the Whites are white. And the White Walkers themselves are white as well. Zombie Zombie mod, the regular zombies are green. Which I think is perfect. Now all we actually have to have, like, incorporate? Oh, this looks like an easy victory. Now, look at this, man. Like, when you look at the battle lines, is the Unsullied outnumber them 3 to 1. Maybe the Whites are very, very powerful? Let's see, where's the last one? There he is, he just got slapped while getting punched in the face. Okay, so 112 versus 70. It's almost double. All right, so now we have the Bravosi water dancing uh, fighting style. They use smaller swords, although here they look rather medieval. They're not rapiers or anything like that. So let's see how we're doing. The Night King's riding in on his mammoth. I guess if they killed the mammoth, or they could have raised the mammoth from the dead, right? After the, uh, the battle at the wall? I feel like that could be possible. It's a shame. We saw, like, zombie bears, and we saw zombie dragons, but we never saw anything else, like, as far as animals here. Oh, and horses. So, horses... Wait, no. Never mind. Horses, dragons, giants, and bears. That'd be so cool. We should have bear cavalry in the game. So the Bravosi are doing their best. They're actually, like... They're probably some of the best. Oh, man, wouldn't that have been cool to see them fight the White Walkers? Here we go. Night King fell off his mount. The mount is going rogue right now. The Bravosi water dancers are doing their best, but come on, man. The biggest army, the biggest force in Game of Thrones, even though he's... He had a very unceremonious... Look at this guy's eyes. Unceremonious demise was the Night King. Alright, so this should be good because we're trying to be representative of the uh, mountain clans, and if you remember, like, Tyrion hired some of them to help fight for him and, you know, get him out of his little pickle, and I, was that season one? I think it was season one. Season one, season two, something like that. So here we go. Oh my god. You guys just got slapped. But I really love the chieftains. I think the chieftains are one of the best, like, dollar for dollar, like, just like, melee specialists. If there's a really, really good unit on the field, you know, and he costs a lot of money. Just get a few of those. Oh my god, maybe they didn't have enough? Let's, let's, let's use a few more. And to be further reflective of, like, the Mountain Clans, we've got the Jarls out here as, like, say they're, like, chiefs, right? The true leaders or the best warriors of the clans. Come on, swing your axes. The elephant, like, uses his bum as, like, a shield at times. It's like a next-level mammoth shield. Oh, they, they have a chance. Oh my god. This White Walker took... A spear to the rib cage. Oh, and he leaps at him. <laughs> Dodges a few spears. Come on. Oh, he swings. He's knocking him out. <laughs> oh, I love the ragdoll physics. Why is ragdoll physics just like so satisfying? Oh my god. Spear to the face. His spear's still in the air where he was holding it. All right, Night King. Now you're going to have to go fight the King of the North. Now, the Northmen are known as, like, ferocious fighters. Their armor and weaponry doesn't seem to be, like, as good as that of the South. But I tell you what, they've got a lot of axes, they're more ferocious in battle, so they're going to be represented... Represented? No, they're going to be represented here by the Viking faction. So the Ber Berserkers leap in here. And I think they're doing all right. 
they allowed their formation to come in unified, which I think is going to be very important. If they're going to have a chance of winning and defeating, oh, this is going to be perfect. I really hope they do win, because then it's like the North defeated, you know, the, uh, the others. The White Walkers, the Whites, come on. Oh man, one of the Jarls is taking some spears. Oh, this does not look good. They were, they, they started out so good. What happened? I guess we could like try to use shield maidens or something. Eventually we're gonna have to do like Daenerys' dragons in this as well. How do dragons do? Oh my God, everyone got dominated. Look at the Night King, he's like, sup fool? I love that, man. That's a screenshot right there. All right, what about the Night King versus the Ironborn? Just lots of berserkers. No real order to their formations. They just leap in, fight ferociously, and a few archers too, in honor of Theon, who was an amazing archer. And I feel like they never really got credit in the show for, like, how good of an archer he really, really was. So, melee specialists are going in. You're seeing axes fall to the ground, which isn't a very good sign. But then the chieftains come in here, and they should be able to knock out the whites in one to two hits each oh my god okay uh oh they might actually win here let's see this chieftain swinging at some white walker spear throwers it depends does he get taken out here oh uh, oh he does he does <laughs> the night king was just getting ping-ponged in the face with two twin hammers here oh there we go they're they're getting knocked down to the archer fire that's the key what oh i was like what happened they just stopped well, okay, the Ironborn are the first to defeat them. So, what if the White Walkers had to fight the Golden Company in Essos with their war elephants? So the Golden Company is shields and spears just like the Unsullied in the Giscari re legions. So, and then we don't really have any war elephants just yet, but we do have mammoths and they basically are very, very good representation. The only thing is right now there's no like mounted archers or spear throwers or even something silly like catapults or hawachas. Like the idea to be able to mount something on a mammoth is awesome. So the first mammoth just absolutely bucks and destroys Oh, look at that! The Night King just- did he fall off his mount? He did! <laughs> look at the little- the little baby mammoth is getting lifted up in the air by the two big ones. Now, this one is just, like, plowing through, and I love this because he's got whites, like, hanging on and flying off of his giant tusks of war here. And then the, uh, the Golden Company, and beneath the gold. The bit of steel right here, just taking out some whites. Although, I don't- I don't know. Whites are really strong, but I've noticed that whites are very, very vulnerable to archer fire. And I think that's the trick. So, let's see. Who would mostly be archers? And mostly be- I guess, like, there's Talosian slingers, but we don't have slingers in the game. Slingers would be really funny to see. Alright, so the Night King's now gonna try his hand at attacking King's Landing, and I've got Cersei's army here. By the way, this just got me a really good idea. I would love some Game of Thrones custom battles. Leave them in the comments below. So basically what we have here is we've got some Lannister soldiers. They're in crimson red. I like that. We got some big knights. Now she has a ton of scorpions for Kyburn, and we even have Kyburn here too. So these are the developer of them, but he makes them run, right? So I figured a cheerleader would be good, because he's gonna make one of these fight even better. And then we've got the mountain here as an executioner. I feel like a big bad unit was pretty appropriate, right? So, here we go. Oh! Let's see how the scorpions and the spearmen- Oh wait! Also gotta put in a few archers, because she's gonna be defending King's Landing. That's- that's how it's gonna work, man. Lots of ranged stuff here. Uh, there's no real, like, I guess we could use- I'm gonna- I'm gonna use the Dynasty Faction, because I feel like the Dynasty Faction itself is gonna be- Oh ho 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 ho! Right in your gabamite! Right in his face! That was awesome! The mammoths are getting kicked all over the place due to these- Yeah, the White Walkers are down. We could incorporate a few more whites here, probably, but uh- Oh my god! Is the Night King down? No, he's not. He's trying to ride- no? He's just putting it- I don't know. I don't know how they- Oh my god! The Night King is taking Ballista Bolt after Ballista Bolt. He's finally down. And look, there's one White Walker left. Let's see, does the Scorpion get him? I guess... Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! He hit him in the head and just slung him around, and there we go. So, Cersei with her Scorpions and Archers and Walls, aka using Siege Equipment on the Walls, seems to have worked. 
pretty well. All right, so Daenerys here is going to test her metal. She's got three dragons, Unsullied, a few Westerosi knights, and I guess free people, and then good old Johnny Boy Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I guess he knows enough to put catapults in front of, you know, his defensive formation. I don't know if John's a very good commander. He's a very good warrior. I just don't know if he's a very good commander. Oh my god. Dragons seem to be very, very effective. At least at pushing them away. But once they get in close and start biting on the dragons, it looks like it's bad news bear for them. Uh, is... is John still alive? Is he dead? Where is John? I think John died. Oh my god. Well, that wasn't very good. I can't wait till we get cavalry. Uh, Landfall's been teasing horses, and I'm excited to try them out. All right, so since they have to come from the Far East and we don't know much about it, I just figured Dynasty Faction, they've got two Huaches, and I really think that the whole Huaches are going to be a very, very good zombie crowd control unit. Okay, some of these whites are taking... I think whites can only take two ranged hits. Now, we've got the firework arrows too, but we've got some white walker spears being thrown. Some of the samurais have blocked some of them, but if there's over like one or two, uh, or rather more than one at the same time, they're not able to block two. And look at that, man. The ninjas are coming in here. We got somebody going to space. Is that... This samurai's alive until he hits the ground. <laughs> Oh, if he gets up- Oh my god, we've got the strongest samurai ever! Hawatches are firing- well, unceremoniously smashed- <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing! No way did they lose! Oh god, the one Hawatcha killed the other Hawatcha. Now the enemies are within the ranks of the, uh, ranged units. And it's a- it's a wash, man. They were defeated. Alright, so now it's all 12 of the secret units, including Artemis and the Ice Giant here. And I think that, you know, because of that, I think Artemis is just gonna take out all of the whites. It'd be cool if they made, like, a Night King that could summon whites. Would be a really cool option as well, kind of like how the summoner works. Or, you know, the demon, who is kind of, like, in charge of the zombies. Who just flew around? Oh my god, that was the samurai giant. Doing backflips and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. The secret units were able to dispatch the Night King. See, that's, that's all they really needed. Look at the tree giant. Tree giant was one of the coolest surprise units I saw in the game. And here we go, here's the Night King. He's leaping, trying to swing here, trying to cut the legs off of the ice giant, but it's it's not looking very good. Is he dead yet? <laughs> I think the tree giant just smacked the ice giant in the face. How did he get over there? Oh, look at him, like, getting hit with arrows. Shuriken. Because you gotta remember, there's a sensei out here, which is basically a souped up ninja unit. These, how is he still alive? There we go. Finally taken out. He did take out the ice giant though. So tree giant survived. Sensei and Artemis. Those were the only three. The last one here today is going to be the Dothraki riders. Uh, we don't have horses, so we used all wheelbarrow units, including the wheelbarrow dragons and the wheelbarrow farmers. I feel like this is going to be pretty funny. I think the fire's really good at like forcing them back. Look at that. The whites aren't able to really jump. There's like the uh, the apples being thrown are almost like Dothrakis on horseback with like bows and arrows kind of like Mongolian riders you know which is I think a very big inspiration for the Dothraki here this is actually doing really good I mean it looks that way maybe it's just the white walk the whites are all like you know all over the place I'm not sure if these guys are actually good at putting them down but they were really good at disrupting their formation uh the dragons I don't think did enough I don't think hold on if we were to like look above I don't know if there's any defeated whites. Like, there's some- no, there's like two. Only two of them were defeated by the Dothraki, which I guess is fitting, because remember what happened? Anyway, guys, let me know your custom battle suggestions in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one.